Hey, Sports Live and ATL. David here. Moving on, y'all. Got to move on. And when it comes to, to, to doing my channel and doing my sports live streams and videos and focus on football games and stuff, got to move on. Got to let the wins settle and move on. Got to let the losses settle and move on. So I am moving on, trying to move on as quick as I possibly can. Reason being because the Atlanta Falcons have the Carolina Panthers on Sunday at the Benz. And there will be fans there, by the way. Now, I'm titling this video, Why I Am Not Worried or Concerned About the Carolina Panthers. And I, and, and I wrote it down on the sheet just so I wouldn't forget, only because I'm getting old. But trust me, all these right here, I didn't even need to write it down because Carolina Panthers, you can't beat this team. You cannot beat this logo. And for a long time, your fan base cannot beat me. Sure, there's a little bit of trash in, in this one right here because it's a divisional opponent. And it's one that has been extremely satisfying and easy. Easy to beat. Now, I'm going to break this down for you, uh, Carolina Panthers. I'm going to do a little trashing in here, but I'm also going to be sports-oriented because this is a sports channel. This is a professional sports channel, and the channel is making waves, as I knew it would. However, it is superseding a little bit of what I expected because I'm getting a lot more new interactors uh, from all over the world. I had people from Hawaii, from, uh, from Hawaii, from Canada, from... Uh, from uh, uh, England in my live stream last night. And I really do appreciate it when Slita can reach abroad. Okay. But trash aside for a minute. The sports reason why the Atlanta Falcons are going to beat the Carolina Panthers Sunday and because I'm not worried, despite everything. The Falcons are 32-18 and 18 overall. Now, I'm not a math wizard or genius, but to me that tells me domination. 32 wins to 18 losses. That's domination. That's one reason. The Falcons are 0-4. Panthers are 2-2 two two right now. Falcons very well could be 2-2, two two, but that's neither here nor there. We're struggling right now. 1995, the first meeting but ever between the Falcons and the Panthers went to Atlanta. First one. So the first time we played, we beat you. In 2002, you know you meet twice. In two games that will never, ever be duplicated by anybody. The Falcons shut out the Panthers in both games by a combined score of 71-0. That's impressive. That's total domination on the offense, defense. And I remember, I think that year, y'all had Rodney Pete. And maybe Rodney Pete and Chris Winkie. I have no idea. It didn't matter. The Falcons have won five straight games over the Panthers. I said six, but whatever. It will be after Sunday. Five straight wins over Carolina. That's domination. The Falcons have won eight of the last nine over the Panthers. And Panther fans come to me and say, well, we beat you 38 to nothing and whatever that was a couple of, uh, uh, when y'all beat us six games ago. But yet they come back at me and say, why am I bringing up 2002 or overall history or first game? It's because it's what we do when you're battling especially a rivalry, right? technically a rivalry, uh, divisional opponent, you're going to pull all stops. Y'all are going to pull the stops. I'm going to pull the stops. But continuing, Falcons have won 8 of 9 over the Panthers. That's domination. Another reason why I don't worry. 2015, in the Panthers' Super Bowl year, regular season, you lost one game. Hmm, who was that too? Oh, my bad, the Falcons. Yeah. Another reason. And not only that, but I looked at the stats. The Falcons have played the Panthers in overtime three times. The Falcons have won all three in overtime. And I believe they were all in Atlanta, where you're going to be Sunday. So why, sh why should David Slitta be worried about the Panthers? You have no Luke Keekley. You do not have Cam Newton, and even when you had him, we didn't worry about him because we beat him 99% of the time. You don't have Greg Olson. You don't have Thomas Davis. You got Teddy Bridgewater, who did well with the Saints. It's funny that Panther fans are like, well, he did 5-0 and run with the Saints, so he's going to do it with us. Well, you're 2-2. Two two. It's better than 0-4, but you're 2-2. Two two. 
Your defense is not that good. Your offense is not that good. Now, on the reverse side, for the Falcons, our defense looks horrible. Pass rush looks uncoachable, like they don't care. I've already been there, done that. But we still got a lot of weapons on offense. And Calvin Ridley is going to torch you guys on Sunday. Matt Ryan, who makes a history out of torching you guys, are going to torch the Panthers on Sunday at 1 o'clock. I actually expect the defense to get some sacks. Grady Jarrett, whoever else plays, maybe even Dante Fowler. Going to come back to the Carolinas. I believe he's going to sack your I, – I believe, it, I believe all the frustration that we are going through right now and the inevitable firing of Dan Quinn and Dirk Cutter, whenever that happens, reports right now are – uh, they're not leaning towards firing him, which I have absolutely no idea. But neither here nor there. I believe all the frustration is going to be taken out on the Carolina Panthers on Sunday. I'm predi I predicted the Falcons would, would lose to the Packers. They did. I was praying they would win. But they didn't look ready. But I'm calling and predicting we are going to beat y'all, the Carolina Panthers, on Sunday. Don't come at me with these dumb bets, everybody. I'm not, I, I don't really do that anymore. I already put a bet out there with CPG. I think it was a mini helmet or something. I'm not sure, CPG, if you're willing to take the bet, let me know. But that's it. I'm not, I'm not betting with any other Panther fans. I may do something with J-Dub if he wants to do maybe a humiliation bet or something. But I'm not really doing that, you know. I, I, I've said this time and time again, just like I said with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. When you dominate somebody for so long, you got to prove the, uh, prove the winning team wrong. Like, when people look back at the Falcons, hell, since Dan Quinn's been here and in the history, all y'all think about is the choke. Y'all look at the Falcons blowing games, choking games. So whenever Falcons get a big lead, y'all expect the Falcons to choke, and they do. A lot of fans, teams out there are not worried when they play Atlanta because we have a history of choking. And right now, we've had a three-, four-year history of not playing defense. So you should expect that. And I expect... We've dominated the Panthers for so long, until you prove me wrong, I'm always going to expect to beat the Carolina Panthers. Always. Like you guys expect the Falcons to blow big leads, I expect to beat Carolina until you prove me wrong. Just like in order for Atlanta to get that stigma out of, their, out of people's mouths, the Falcons have to win games. Stop blowing games. So we're getting what is expected and the Panthers, I'm giving you, and you're going to get what is expected until you prove us wrong. I don't care if it's Bridgewater, Rodney Pete, Chris Winkie, Cam Newton, uh, Jake Adelahoom, whoever the other guy was, the backup that we beat up last year. I don't care. It doesn't matter. We dominated you last year. And Cam Newton didn't even play in one of the games. Maybe he didn't even play in both, but I know he, got, he didn't play in one. So don't, you know, if you want to use that, well, Cam Newton was playing. In that last game, 40 to 20 game, Cam Newton was not playing, to my knowledge. And I don't even think the game in Carolina, Cam Newton was playing. Again, I could be wrong. But if I'm wrong, let me know and I'll admit it. The Falcons have been dominating the Panthers be way before Cam Newton even got here. Ask Jake Delhomme how he feels about that. So, Carolina Panthers, fans, you, you guys have a legitimate reason to feel comfortable. Because you're 2-2, two and two, Falcons are 0-4, we're a dumpster fire, we, we're not, we're, we, we don't know what we're doing right now, all the injuries, but, I, but just know what's coming your way on Sunday. The team that owns you. Slitta owns the Panther uh, video makers on here. I have won so many bets from Panther fans, it's not even funny. Now, if we lose, I'm going to come out and tell you, but I expect the Falcons to blitz and just bring everything out of the sink against Carolina. I expect Matt Ryan and Calvin Ridley, whether Julio plays or not, Russell Gage to have a huge day. I expect Todd Gurley to run all over. This is an NFC South matchup. Things happen when the division plays. So Carolina Panthers, I hope y'all enjoyed four straight weeks of laughing. Because I, I enjoyed the two laughs that I gave y'all. And I'm going to enjoy laughing at y'all come around 4 p.m. plus 4.15 Eastern Time Sunday. I am. So I hope you're watching my live stream. But if you don't, I'll just give you a little repeat afterwards. So Falcons, Panthers, 
Falcons are going to dominate the Carolina Panthers. And uh, there's nothing else to say. Prove me wrong, Panthers. I don't think you will. Because I've said it before and I said it again. Your Carolina Panthers cannot, and I repeat, cannot beat this team.